the thick family feud all over marijuana, or at least it's playing a really large part in this battle, over Alan Thicke's ranch. Uh, we told you that uh, Alan's sons, uh, Robin and Brennan, had filed uh, uh, documents against Tanya, his, Alan's widow, uh, and they claim that she is trying to be greedy and overreach for more than uh, their father left in the will. Uh, she says what they, what they really want is they want the land on the ranch because they want to put in a marijuana plantation. So this is 11 acres near Santa Barbara, and what has happened is this. She has a right to live on that property for the rest of her life. Um, everybody kind of agrees on that part. And once she dies, um, there's some dispute, or does she get a, does she get a quarter, and then do the two uh, sons and the grandson get three quarters? That's kind of irrelevant. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that during her life, in fact now, what she claims is that Robin and Brennan, the two sons, want to start a marijuana plantation on these 11 acres. She is saying, absolutely not. It would, it, it would dishonor Alan because he would never want anything like this. And what she claims is that they've threatened to trash her publicly as a gold digger, which they've kind of done they've now, done, yeah. um, if, if she wouldn't uh, succumb to this and agree to let marijuana be planted all over the property. Yeah, and, and Harvey, some of this makes sense. I mean, Tanya's saying that Alan in his life cultivated this clean image. I mean, he was Jason Seaver from Growing Pains. The idea that he would start a pot farm, I, I have to say, it seems consistent with what Tanya's saying that the, 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 he would do this Seaver? during life. I think it's Mike Seaver. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, I know Mike Seaver was actually Kirk Cameron. I think it's Jason Seaver. Oh, all right. But, th but thanks for Ooh. chiming in there, Chuck. <laughs> Once wow. you leave the 80s to me, you can stick in the 70s and earlier. Wow. <laughs> what okay. the heck? Okay. Uh, anyway, Fine. so, um, so uh, you know, I don't know whether this is going to end up in court or not, but I think, you know, it's very clear. She is really upset um, because, and, and I think Isn't this is... the issue, but... No, I think, can I just... She has, I, a, she has a problem. I mean, if the will says they get that... No, the will... No, 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 it's, it's not right. They get it after she dies. They, they, it, it, but they uh, own it. No, they. they she's she, allowed to live, she's allowed to live there. right to the whole estate. She says until she dies, and she has to maintain it too. So there's a real conflict here. But I will say this, and this to me is revealing, that when they file their papers, this uh, Robin and his brother, when they file papers against Tanya, they didn't call her uh, Tanya Thick. They called Tanya her Tanya. Hello by her maiden name. Right. She does not go by her maiden name. And that's interesting because she's been married, she was married to Alan Thicke for 11 years. years. She 11. was with him for 17 years. And she's really hurt by this. And she's saying, they're just trying to hurt me, that they, they got a thing against me. And the fact that they used Did we, her maiden name. I'd never heard anything about beef between, his, between her and the sons before Alan's death. I just wonder how long this tension has been going on or is it really just over now marijuana, they, right? I'm guessing this thing was brewing, but the, but the fact that they're because this is ramped up so quickly, you know, and and you know they really it has gotten nasty and personal. But I'm telling you, using somebody's maiden name like that when they've been married right. for 11 years, that's it's telling. A dig. It it's says a dig. it says something. Yeah. Hi guys, it's Brittany Sierra in New York. Basically, I think it's pretty simple. The wife gets to stay on the ranch, live for free. The sons get to start their, you know, marijuana plantation, make a living, and everyone's happy. And if she gets too anxious, I'm sure the sons have something for her to calm her down. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, the problem is she'd be living there while this, uh, the, the farm is going on. And it's arguably unsafe, by the way, that people it's could be a breaking dangerous in. dangerous situation. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Make sure to subscribe to TMZ Live to keep up to date on the latest entertainment news. And if you want to keep watching, click on one of these videos right now.